Hello guys, Durger here. Right, so, let me show you guys my epic form. Well, to be technical, um, this is an old video, I'm just commentating like over it. Um, yeah, so, found a golem tower as you can see, and I built my XD farm way up there because I thought it'd be cool. I sadly lost my old world, so I couldn't show you guys like all of my farms, I had so many different types of farms. It got lost, I'm really sad. But in any case, uh, so. I'm gonna build a poison farm here, which is one of the very first ones I ever built in Autocraft. And uh, it's just really simple in my opinion. It's one of the easiest and most rewarding. Um, yeah, because they drop all kinds of useful shit. Um, they drop, I think, they give you ender pearls, obsidian, all kinds of shit like that. So uh, yeah, this is me making said farm. Um, you guys will see it later on. Um, I don't actually know what I'm going to do in this video, to be fair, I haven't watched this video because <laughs> uh, it's such an old one, I thought I just, you know, I won't let it go to waste. Um, but you need the defiled lands, I think is what they're called, right? You know, if you guys have ever seen them, loads of poison and horrible stuff everywhere. And you'll see this like these pools, essentially pools of poison. So, yeah, you need eight buckets of those. I think you can do it with seven, I can't remember, I did the calculations back in the day. But that's the spawn requirement for those poison creatures, is you need um, seven or eight of these source blocks. And that's basically uh, basically what I'm doing here. Um, as you can see here, <laughs> uh, I can't quite remember how I made it back in the day, so I'm trying to figure that out. So what you're looking at is Zerger's brain trying to do math. <laughs> So I'm just trying to think, uh, so the wooden blocks represent where the storage blocks will be, so I'm trying to think, right, so they do need, they only need one block above them, and so yeah, I think that was it, they only need one block above them, so that's what I'm trying to do here, I'm trying to figure that out, and glass, just because glass, you know, um, I'm doing the whole thing to be glass-like, and I want to see through the roof here, because there's um, tremors, you know, the, the wind elementals, they spawn up here, so I want to be able to see them. Uh, so that's why glass and also just you know glass looks cool. You can see when they spawn that type of thing You can of course do it with any type of material So uh, yeah, that's what I'm doing here Trying to get a nice little roof and then yeah, this will be our little stabby hole What I'm building now for us to poke our little sword through and stab them in the butt Yes until they die Horrible way to go, but you know such is life. Um, so, let's see, what am I doing? Yeah, looking good, looking good. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Trying to think if I need to build a piece there. I do, in fact, because I need a slab. Now, just looking at this video, I'll probably put up some slabs in, in a minute or so. There we are. Yep. Got some slabs just to keep the uh, source blocks in there. Probably. Yeah. might have switched them out later on by the way if you guys do this part here where I'm putting the slabs uh, I think it's better to put them on the well not there for starters where I just put that one but it's better actually to put them on the bottom because they kind of float and bob on the um, on the actual you know the fluid so you won't be able to kind of nick them in the bums because they'll be uh, floating up there so yeah an ideal world put these slabs Hang on, is this actually what I did? I'm just talking out of my ass. Okay, let's watch the video. But yeah, that doesn't look like the best way to me. I'm just thinking like, uh, okay, never mind. I remember. Right, so I lowered the floor so we can get in there, so we can kind of look up in there and slice them above the water. Uh, okay, right, 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 right. So, past Zerg, do this now. Future Zerg demands it. You guys can hear all those tremors around. Um, yeah. A uh, cool, not cool, a very uncool thing. These tremors, um, you know, certain elementals, they, I don't know if you guys have seen, but certain elementals, they, um, they mix with one another and they kind of fuse and become a more ugly entity. By the way, so I found this out in a very horrible way. These, uh, these tremors out there. If they, if they get near uh, one of the Chaos ones, you know, the uh, the purple spinny thing, um, 
if you kill too much elementals, one the chaotic, the, the chaotic, uh, what chaotic, the chaotic energy one. That one fuses with the uh, um, with the tremors, with the wind one, and they turn into a very nasty, nasty, nasty thing. Like um, I don't know what it's called exactly, but um, the ones that you find in the Nether is like a floating skull. They count as an elemental apparently, so they turn into those skulls. Oh, here we go. I need the liquid star. So there is the liquid stuff, the uh, poison goo, whatever it was. If you guys, if you guys pause the video, you'll see the name. I can't pause while um, you know narrating. Um, but yeah, so just very carefully have them all in there. You need some source blocks, eight of them, um, in order to you know qualify. Can't just be like flowing. Um, you know, has to be source. That's it. Has to be source blocks. In any case, so uh, yeah, the horrible floaty skeleton um, skull thing, the flaming skull thing, is what they turn into. And they actually blew up like 80% of this place. One of them um, saw me outside, and when you kill them, I didn't think of it at the time, but when you kill them, they self destruct, and it blew the shit out of this whole place. I had to rebuild most of this place, and it was. It really sucked because you know there's other stuff flying from outside and <laughs> it really it really sucked. Now so that that there by the way is the farm complete. Um, from here, basically, um, at the time I kind of doubted myself because I couldn't remember <laughs> if I did it correctly. So I thought maybe they're not spawning because I'm too close to them. So I do remember standing in this corner for a bit, um, becoming quite worried, quite concerned. That it's not gonna work and then maybe since I last played they updated the game and this is no longer a thing But that's basically there as far as I can tell that looks correct to me as far as I remember uh, They should start spawning later on In my old world I had two of these actually I had a big room They had two of these uh, one in that corner one in the other corner and it was just the best source of XP um, Yeah, I'll I'll show you guys as soon as they spawn or whatever. I mean they should spawn in here I'll, um, what am I doing now? <laughs> you can you can tell I'm trying to figure out what's going on. <laughs> um, oh, I I'm thinking maybe they need another um, an open air block above the liquid. That's what I'm thinking. So I'm trying to clear that out at the moment. But in any case, um, I'll show you guys what what they drop. Um, you know, I'll kill a couple of stuff. I'll, I'll add like a, a second you know segment to this video at the end as soon as they do spawn. Um, and then you can see what they drop, what you'll be getting. But yeah, it's really useful stuff. You know. XP the oh well I just made a hole in the wall that's not what I meant to do. <laughs> um, what was I gonna say? I yeah I'll show you guys what they oh, yeah, no. yeah I was panicking for nothing so that's what you spawn and yoohoo yeah I'm very excited as you can see. <laughs> so finally they spawn and that's me accidentally going down there. I put a trap door over that eventually. Um, but yeah so that's what that's how they look like they spawn like that loads of them. And that's about that. Um, this is just me dismissing my creatures and stuff. So, uh... Alright, so this is my XP farm currently. This is the, uh, you know, the same one. Um, I just do this. I put a little summoning altar there and I summon loads of these uh, Darklings. So this is how I used to do it. Um, I put like one or two of these around. You know, there'd be XP farms all around. And these Darklings would go and basically kill them for me. And since they are pets, they count as player kills. So that, you know, they, they drop all the loot. It's just getting these guys to aggro. You could just kind of push one over here. Do this. And there they go. And then from here on, I'll just keep on doing this over and over. And, uh, well, yeah, that's exactly what I'll do. So they just keep doing this. And I'll just come in periodically. I used to have like a, uh, well, I'm pointing there, but hypothetically pointing. There used to be like another room next to my XP farm. So I'll be doing all my enchants over there, and then every now and then, you know, uh, I'll just come on through and then run like, you know, a big old circle through and pick up all the XP orbs. <laughs> now let's see what we got. Shift, 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 pick all the stuff up. Let's see what we got. Show me what you got. Oh, this thing makes some weapons with. Eh. You kind of get loads of these after a while, it becomes quite annoying. That, slime. Mushroom, flesh. You get other stuff as well. Um, the coolest thing, possibly, um, from this whole farm is well, obviously the ender pearls, very useful. However, 
Um, the coolest thing is the zombies, the poison zombie ghouly things, whatever they're called. They occasionally, very rarely, they actually drop wither skulls, which is why this is super cool to have. Like, I, it really surprised me. But uh, yeah, every now and then I would get like a random wither skull. So uh, yeah, that's what I would do. And uh, well, just got these here. So yeah, my initial setup, I had a, on this side, like, I, my, we used to come in here. On the left hand side, I would have a big, um, what's a fire elemental farm. So just, you know, um, what do you call it? Netherrack set on fire, and then elementals would spawn. Starting just, no, that looks kind of cool, huh? Go through the ceiling. Anyway, um, so big one there, and they'd keep on spawning fire elementals. I had to put a couple of buckets of water down, because, you know, they'd set me on fire every now and then. So uh, quite a risky, quite a ballsy uh, XP farm. Any case, it did work nice. Um, yeah, and uh, so in order to get them to stop, you have to set up like just some kind of system with some pistons. So you close off the fire every now and then when you don't want it spawning, you know, fire elementals the whole time. So that was pretty cool. And then after that one, I had uh, another, oh, massive lag. As you know, I don't know, it just keeps on happening. Um, in any case, um, in the corner, I had another ex uh, poison farm and, you know, which worked pretty well. And then I had another poison farm there in the middle. I had a big old magma farm there, which I subsequently destroyed because, trust me now, if there is one thing you can take from old Zergi, like uh, one piece of advice that you listen to, never build yourself a magma XP farm. The, <laughs> the, smaller, um, the smaller ones are fine, man, he's noisy. The smaller ones are fine, uh, but as soon as you go over, you know, like four by six or four by five, whatever, um, like source blocks for lava, then you start spawning like the salamanders and the, the bigger lava lobbers and all that type of stuff. So what happened was I had a big old lava farm here. This was underneath my base. So I was like, this would be ground level XP farm will be underground. And I just kind of walked around and when I, I looked, it just like out of nowhere, I just saw this gigantic um, lava lobber head sticking out from under the ground. And I was like, what in God's name is going on here? And then I went down there. It's like uh, a lava lobber spawn, or like a special type, like a elite type or a mini boss. I'm not sure if it's a mini boss or just uh, some type of elite. But anyway, the thing was massive. So he dis he basically destroyed all the blocks around him, subsequently destroyed my farm, punched holes in all the other ones around him, and started throwing lava everywhere as he does. So he started burning down the house as well. So half of the house was burning down in flames. My XP farms were all opened up, and so there were mobs everywhere. It was just a horrible, horrible experience. So I would recommend staying away from the larger magma farm. So yeah, that was quite, uh, yeah, quite the experience. Horrible experience, do not recommend. Aha, there we have some more customers. It's good to, um, I, I put this closer at some point, so they get like direct uh, line of sight. Uh, there they go, actually. And uh, yeah, so just keep giving me XP like this. Um, and then apart from the, um, the magma farm, the last one was these, I don't know what it's called, like frost pools or something. Have you guys seen that? Like, um, by the, you get the, um, whatchamacallit, um, da 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 da. The dungeons and such. Every now and here, you'll get like these hidden massive pools of like a white frost liquid. Anyway, you can do the same thing with them. If you have like seven or eight buckets full of that liquid, um, I also had got one of them. So my last one was a, a frozen one, and that was my entire XP farm setup. I would just like run rounds through it, uh, you know, occasionally, and get all my lovely XP orbs. So yeah, this is basically what you do. We'll see what we got in a second. Let's see. I just got some uh, normal stuff, nothing amazing, but yeah, yeah, that's okay, I guess. Yeah, so this is my poison XP farm. I do recommend um, you just need to find, you know, as I said, those defiled lands, and they are quite hard to find at times. So just get yourself a rock, and you know, go look for them. And yeah, that's that. Um, I'll, I don't know, like when I expand. By the way, if you guys are curious what this is, this is the Spriggan. I think it's Spriggan, whatever the hell they're called. The 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 chaotic. Let's see. Um, the chaotic elemental ones. No. No. I'm trying to see, there's like, uh, this Zaffan, there we go. Zaffan, Zaffan, whatever. This is a farm for one of them. Um, yeah, it just uses, um, just uh, a lava source block and a water, water bucket, whatever. As soon as they make contact, they spawn that. I saw this off YouTube from some other guy. But in any case, so, uh, yeah, that's an extra farm you guys can look into. But still, I like the, uh, I like my poison one. Especially, it's really nice that you can automate it like this. I just keep, you know, I could probably do that somehow with the Zephon one as well. But yeah, it's just nice or passive XP. And um, yeah, I, I do recommend that you guys get yourself some of the 
I, I've forgotten what it is. is it educated or XP boost something something rather. I've forgotten all the um, the enchants. I haven't I haven't checked them in a long long time. Um, but yes, so uh, they um, like they they make you get loads and loads of XP of these guys. Um, even though you, you're not the one giving the killing blow, as long as you have the weapon equipped, they still drop them massive amounts of XP because these guys, you know, once again count as. Um, player kills so yeah you just get like it whenever I, I ran like around like that i would probably get like pff, something crazy like uh, almost 100 levels of xp probably not 100 levels exactly i'd probably get like in the 60 70 levels but still i would get like a, a crap ton of xp uh, whenever i run my rounds if i get to that stage in this auto clock world then i'll i'll probably make uh, you know i'll put that up there the only other thing i'm really, really sad about is that world was I had a massive village of trading farm up, um, like a trading hall up with almost all of the uh, of the enchants. Um, and apart from that, I also had like, if you guys ever heard, you know, people say blah blah blah. I have a god sword or a, you know that type of thing. It sounds pretty lame actually saying god sword. But in any case, I had a proper god sword. So, <laughs> and I say that because um, towards the very end, I couldn't enchant it anymore. And to get the last of the enchantments on, it took me uh, 120 levels of XP to put the last. Um, enchants on it but it was a beast um, a beast of a sword and it had all of the cool enchants and um, I even got the curse of is it curse of holding or curse of binding which is a really really hard one to find anyway so I, you intentionally put that curse on so that I cannot be disarmed by the um, by you know, by, by the elitist guys by the by the blights and such the guys have got like special special powers to them so I had a god sword and it can't fall out of my hand so it was the best. I, I'm so sad. I, I haven't got a video anywhere with it on. So, uh, yeah, so, so sad. Any case, this is the XP farm, guys. I hope you guys enjoy. You can AFK here or some shit. You know, you can uh, do that type of stuff. So, but yeah, I'll uh, I'll keep you guys updated if I, uh, when I expand this, if I expand this. I'm quite sad that uh, the spawn rate didn't seem higher because that's the, the reason I went all the way up here above the, um, the guardian tower underneath, the battle tower, I think I called. But yeah, pretty sad. Uh, Any case, if you guys enjoyed the video, please give me a like or subscribe. It'll help me a lot. I've got a teeny tiny channel, so any likes or subscribes and stuff like that really helps me a lot. And uh, yeah, any questions, you know, talk with me. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll always respond. And uh, yeah, so thanks for that. And uh, I hope this was helpful. And you guys have yourselves. Let me see. This is where the video like like channel looks cool. Let's do this. Whoa, the money shot. You guys, go ahead and have yourself a lovely day. This is Zerger saying goodbye.